Hello, and welcome back to part 9 of this Tekka tutorial series. Today, we're going to be doing some more advanced equivalent exchange stuff. So let's get straight in there. We're going to, we're going to make an energy collector and an antimatter relay. And I'll explain about these in a bit, but first of all, we'll just get them made. So to make an energy collector, you'll need 6 glowstone blocks, so a furnace, a diamond block, which is 9 diamonds in a block filling every square and a block of glass and we'll also need the antimatter relay kind of the same apart from you'll need seven obsidian a diamond block and a block of glass now you want to make quite a lot of these because they are very good uh, you don't need very many of the antimatter relays but you'll need quite a lot of the energy collectors now next I'm going to show you how to make a Klein star now the, these three chests here contain every upgrade for the client star and it's not necessarily the best thing to do to make them all at once so first of all I'm, I'm just going to run through these quickly because it's fairly simple but to make a client star iron which is the very first one you'll need to some Morbius fuel which is alchemical coal with your philosopher's stone and to get alchemical coal it's just coal in your philosopher's stone uh, you'll need eight of that and a diamond and then to upgrade it to a clan star's vi, you'll just need to put four clan star irons in a circle, and you'll get that. And to make a dry, you'll need four zvis. And to make a fear, you'll need four dries. And you get you get the idea. You get where I'm coming from. You'll need four of the previous one to make the next one up. And eventually, you'll get to a clan star and make it. Let's take this one with me because it's, it's it's nice to have one. And finally, we're going to make a, a transmutation tablet so we can actually spend some of this energy that we get. So you'll need your Philosopher's Stone, some Smooth Stone, so you have to smelt your stone, and four Obsidian. And we're going to make an Alchemical Bag. Now these are really handy, and I'll show you why in a second. But you'll need to make an Alchemical Chest, which is one of each of the Covalence Dust, a Diamond, two more Smooth Stone, two Ingots of Iron, and a Chest. Uh, a bit of wool. Now the colour of the wool has to be the same colour. So it has to be either all white, all blue, all whatever. But that'll determine the colour of your bag. And three greater covalence dust. So I'll take that with me. Now in your inventory what you can do is you can right click this just anywhere. Like up in the air wherever you want to do. And as you can see, uh, you can, it's like having an alchemical chest in your pocket. So what you can do is you can just store whatever you want in here. You can put all your items in and then you can just take them out whenever you want them so it's very handy to have so now on to the setting up of everything I'll run over this transmutation tablet first as it's probably quite handy now what you do is you whack it on the, t on the top of a block like so and then you can look inside it so the transmutation tablet allows you to basically turn whatever you have in this left hand side into items that it determines that you might need. So for example, at the moment we've got zero EMC. If we put a diamond in, it'll say learned across here, and you'll see I can trade one diamond for a diamond. Like so. I can put that down without lagging horrifically. Uh, so if we get something else, say some pink wool, and I'll put that in, it'll say learned and 48. Let's just take this out and put it back in here. Now say we wanted to we wanted to get some more of that pink wool, what you'd do is you'd put, let's see if we can get, actually get 48 of this, see if we put 32 in, it's like, oh, you, you, it's not enough, it's not enough, but if we put like, more than we need in, uh, it's not going to work because it's cobblestone, obviously, uh, say we get something a bit higher, say, a rail track, they're worth quite a lot, you put the rail track in, 96, so as you can see we get a, a track, pink wool, and some cobblestone. So what we can do is we can spend that and get one block of cobblestone. As you can see, the value went down by one. If we take another one, it goes down by another one. If we take out some pink wool, it takes out however much it was. I think it was 32. We'll take a bit more of this. And what you can do is you can just shift click and it'll just give you as many as you possibly can. And dump it straight in your bag. So that's what that can do. So for example, uh, I'll be coming back to this in a bit, but when we've charged our client star up, you can put that in here and all the energy that you've got stored in here will generate things on this side. So go down into the depths. 
down here. Now these numbers here represent how many of each type of block you'll need. You'll need uh, 17 of the energy collectors, 5 of these antimatter relays, and you'll need one energy condenser, which I forgot to pick up. So I'll just get one of these. You'll need one energy condenser, and you'll see why in a second. But to start off with, I'm just going to put these down. Now when you're building this, if you hold shift and right click, you won't access it like so. If you just right click it normally, you'll jump inside it. If you hold shift and right click, you'll place one instead. So, as you can see here, let's get some off my hand. Uh, now I'll get a bit of glowstone, because that's always handy. You want to have a bit of glowstone with these, because what you want to do is, you want to put the glowstone on, uh, on top of the yellow blocks because inside you'll see they've got a little a little block like this like the solar panels do and basically the more light energy they have the more energy they'll make so what we can do is we can say we can get some if we get another block of glowstone and we put this in here it will slowly cook that as you can see with this arrow and after a very very long time or well not not so long just wait for this to do quickly. Do, 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 do. But while that's while that's cooking, that's nearly done. Nearly done. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We'll just we'll just wait. It's like ten seconds. And as you can see, this number here is going up, showing that it's actually gaining energy. But that's because it's not being transferred into the antimatter relay, which is what what normally happens. So once this is, oh, come on. It's taken absolutely forever now. Absolutely forever. I could have shown this off right. So basically, an antimatter relay, it cooks cooks things like so. Uh, you just put them in. And they'll go into here and they'll burn into energy. Like so. Like this. And this will speed up neighbouring neighboring things. Like so. Because it's got 487 now. It wouldn't have had that before. It would have had slightly less. Now this glowstone any second will turn into a Mobius fuel. Boom! There's some Mobius fuel for you. And after a, an incredibly long time, I think it's about 20 minutes, this Mobius fuel will turn into it analysis fuel, which we'll need for making dark matter, which is very important. So you might want to set one of these up just to get one so you can content it a bit later. So now I'm going to finish off setting up this. I'll show you how it's made. Now, they're really fairly easy to make. You just need to have. I'm, I'm going to move these around so I don't have to stretch my fingers so much. Like so. You want to set it up so that you've got four relays. Oh, come on, press the right button. There we go. Around the middle. Like so. And in the middle, you want to put your energy condenser. But on the outsides as well, make sure you've got the energy collectors on the outsides. I mean, you don't have to start this big. This is just because I've got cheat mode on. Uh, but you can start with two into an energy collector. Or you can go with even more. So then you stack these up like so. And then inside here, we'll have another one of those. And on top another one. And then you go around and you just glowstone it up. Stand on top of here, it'd be far easier. Make sure you hold shift, otherwise you'll end up accessing them instead. Like so, and then the final one, boom. Now, what you can do is, if you're really bothered about it, you can put some under here. Now, these won't generate as much energy because there's not very much light shining on the top of them, as you'll, as you'll notice, if you can see it from my hand. But they've got like a little circle on top, and that's where the light has to shine on for you to be able to get energy in them. Now, you'll be wondering why have you put an energy uh, condenser in the middle? Well basically all the antimatter relays will pass energy into anything that needs energy. So if I put say a diamond in here you'll see it'll start generating energy automatically and then after after quite some time, as these are only level 1, you'll end up with an extra diamond. So you can just leave this and this will make you diamonds forever. And that is 
pretty sweet. But what you can do is, if I, I just break in here, I just get rid of this and one of these, and get in here. You can also put your Klein Star in. I think it's in that slot. One of these slots, like so, and then just cook it up with some pink wool. And normally, if this wasn't making diamonds, all the energy from this antimatter relay would be going into your client star. So I'm just I'm just burning this for the sake of you know a bit of speed. But say once we get, uh, if I just get some a bit more useful, like a a diamond, and I cook a diamond inside instead, you can see it filling up quite rapidly. That'll do. That'll do. And. As you can see, it stores all the energy in here and slowly transfers it into the client star. Now, the higher level your antimatter relay, the faster it'll transfer energy. But we'll go on to upgrading them a lot later on, when you've got maybe a few hundred diamonds just lying around on the floor. So as you can see, we've got 20... let's wait for... there you go, 30k. Now with this client star, what you can do is... oh, a bit of a lag spike there. Why can't I get off this ladder? There we go. What you do is, you come to your transmutation tablet, and you whack it in here, and it goes learned. So now, you can make another client star with the energy that you've just collected. Or you can make a diamond. So I'll make a couple of diamonds, see how many we can make. Make as many as we can. And as you see, we don't quite have enough, because a diamond is worth 8,120, I think it is. Which is the same value as when you use a divining rod. So, uh, so we could get like... 100 tracks and finish the rest of a cobblestone. And then as you can see it's completely empty now. But one thing I would suggest doing is with your energy collectors is whack them in here. I mean look at that, 82,000. That's how ex that's an expensive one. And you know, and just anything anything valuable like these just put them in just in case you ever need to make them again. I don't think you can do it with an alchemy bag. Yeah, you can't do it with an alchemy bag. Let's try again. No. And you'll never need a new transmission table transmutation tablet, but you can put that in anywhere. It's only 260. I mean, you can make 100 of them if you wanted. What you can do is, say I want a diamond sword, you can burn it. Now that'll learn it and store the energy in the tablet to use. So you never wanted to use it again, you can just burn it and you can just like... So if you want is just whack a stack of cobblestone in, a few of them, and you can just make some clan stars and some diamonds and get all your cobblestone back. All your cobblestone. So, like, we'll go back to this uh, previous one, where you want to make a block of pink wool. You just burn all your cobblestone, and then you've got your pink wool. So it's pretty handy. And as you can hear outside, it is raining! Again! I must live in the rainiest biome ever. So, I hope this has helped, and thanks for watching. Subscribe, and stay tuned for more. I'll be telling you how to upgrade these things, and how to make cool rings next time. So, thanks for watching, and catch you later.